Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is uh, I'm going to do a project with the CPX E um, using an IOLink master. And uh, so I'm just going to create a quick project here. Um, create a directory. And I'm going to create a file. 35104. I'm just going to pause the video while it's starting up. All right, so new file. Give it a name. Pick the target package. Pick the directory I just chose to create. Uh, okay, hit OK. All right, so C1, not the M1. And I'm going to, I don't need an Ethercat master. Actually, I don't need one. Hit OK. And it creates this file here. All right, so a couple quick steps. Uh, the first thing we need to do is register the uh, the devices. So I want to hook up a, uh, a VTUG valve terminal from Festo. Uh, I'm going to do one that's uh, I'll do two different valve terminals for the for the VTUG, and I'm going to do a VPPM proportional pressure regulator. So the first thing I need to do is go to the website and download the files, and uh, Part number four two five nine. Go to the software tab. So there's my IODD file. I download this, and it's going to download that. And the next one is going to be there's a on the VTUG. There's a VAEM top hat. They call it. Um, I'm just going to search generically here. Uh, and this one right here, so it's a VAM L1-S, and it's a PT, not a PTL, but a PT. And so I'm going to download this, which is downloading now. And then I'm going to go unzip those files. So I'm going to quickly unzip those, and I'll show you where to put them. Okay, so those files were downloaded to the My Documents folder here. And I unzipped them to these locations right here. So I'm just going to delete these zip files here. And I'm going to install them. So in the Codasys, you have a device repository. And uh, I'm just going to show you right now the existing layout. So I do have a couple of VAEMs here. And I have no VPPM. This is IOLink version 1.0. And then under this tab here, I again have these ones right here because these are version 1.1. 1, 1. Uh, but, and there's a VPPM there. But I'm going to install them anyway. And you'll see that it installs a couple newer files here. So, um, right here. So it's installed them. There's your confirmation. And it just put these three files right here in. So those are the newer files. Um, and install the other ones here for the VPPM. And I put that there. Okay, so now they're there. So now we have those there. And we can continue with our project. So that's how you install a typical IODD file, uh, which you'll need before you even start the project.